level four to level five. The password for the next level is stored in the only human readable file in the in here directory. All right. So let's go ahead, we'll do our ls. We can see, again, there's a directory. We know what to do, cd into it. Let's list what's present. And we can see we have nine different files. Let's go ahead and let's try to cap these files. Uh, I wonder if we're going to have an issue. We'll see. Just with the, uh, the minus sign. Yeah, it does not like that at all. We learned we can get around it by doing that. Uh, that's the redirection from, I believe it was level one or perhaps level two. So we could go through and what's happening here, I, I should explain this, is there's a set of characters called the ASCII characters and they run about 120 characters. They're what's considered printable characters. Bring up a, an ASCII table. And what you're looking at here is everything ultimately is binary. Let me see if I can show you this with, this is so annoying. Uh, I'm going to, well, we'll try. We'll try, we'll fail, and then we'll move on. Yes, that's, that's annoying. So I, I want to copy one of these files into a file name that's not annoying so that I can show you what's going on. So we're going to try to copy this. Oops, lagging. File to file zero zero. Uh, that did not work. Let's see, maybe the move command can do this. Oh, this is so annoying. Let's see, what's, what's the best way to handle this? Minus file, zero, zero. No, that didn't do it. Copy echo. Oh, here's what I want to do, guys. I want to show you the raw binary that's present. But unfortunately, because we have this uh, minus in front of everything, it's causing issues. Uh, so let's try our trick. We are going to cat this, which we know works. And then we are going to try to redirect it to a file without deleting minus. And we get a permission denied. So I, I actually, I knew this would happen. This is what the message of the day told us, which is all of the home directories are not user writable. So we're gonna have to use temp instead. Temp is a directory designed for temp files, so it's slash TMP. Uh, so let's give that a shot and see if that works. Seems to have. So now we'll try dumping that to make sure it's correct. That seems good. So now we have a file that we can easily reference without issues. So now I want to do XXD to show you the raw binary of this file. And what you're seeing on the far left column are the addresses in the file. So this is position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. In the middle, that's the hex representation, hexadecimal representation of the binary. And then on the right is the ASCII representation. So ASCII is a plain text representation of binary. And what you're seeing here is there are about 128 characters. So 
So there's the lowercase alphabet, the uppercase alphabet, numbers, special symbols, uh, spaces, etc. And this is a way to interpret different binary characters. But you'll notice it only goes up to 127, or 7f in hexadecimal. Meanwhile, over here, we have bytes that are much bigger than 7f. And so you'll notice it, it doesn't know how to interpret these. It's not human readable text. It's some other format. So what we have going on here is we've got a bunch of files, and only one of them is going to be human readable. Oh, I'm actually, I'm remembering, I think another way to get around this pain, let's see, of the dash. Ah, yes. So what I'm doing here is I'm referencing the local directory. So to make sure that it doesn't think this is supposed to be standard input or a flag or something else, I'm saying I want a file and normally if I did something like cat file zero zero, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to reference something and I'm implicitly saying where I am, I think there's a file called this name, please use that. Rather than be implicit, we're going to be explicit and we're going to say this is definitely in this directory so that the computer doesn't get confused on the minus. All right, so that helps us out a lot. So we could very easily, since there aren't that many different files, we could go through and we could keep doing this until we stop getting garbage out. What's happening is um, the terminal is interpreting these non-ASCII characters in weird ways. And as a result, you get line breaks and diamonds and question marks and things like that. So this would certainly be a way that we could do it. We could write a loop over it, or we could use uh, the file command. What the file command is going to do is it's going to tell us the best interpretation that the terminal has of what this guy is as a file. So if we did minus file 00, zero we can see it's called data. And we can do all of these at once using the star. Star is a shortcut. It's a wildcard character. So imagine if you want to make a pattern and you know the pattern is minus file, zero, and then something. Star means something, some character, number of characters from this point. So if we go ahead and we do that, it will do the file operation on all of these matching guys. And we can see that one stands out as ASCII text, not data, which is, is short for uh, uninterpretable binary. So let's go ahead now and let's take a look at file 07. And we can see we got what looks to be a password. We'll take this over here, go to exit. We'll try to SSH in now to level five using our password. Go ahead and provide that password. All right, 